No One Will Save You is a psychological sci-fi horror film starring Caitlin Deaver as Bryn Adams. And this is directed by Brian Duffield. Bryn is a recluse who lives in an isolated farmhouse and she refuses to talk to anyone that lives in town because of her murky past. What I really like about this film is how it gradually reveals who Bryn is as a character and what she did in her past that was so terrible that affected everyone in the town. And I think Caitlin Deaver gave a phenomenal performance portraying this character because there's no dialogue. There's no dialogue throughout a majority of this film. So Caitlin has to act mostly with facial expressions, with her mannerisms, with moaning and grunting. One of the most unique things about working on No One Will Save You is that there was not a lot of dialogue. And as a composer, that's a bit of a dream that you go, wow, great, I have this huge platform to say things that normally the dialogue would say. And then the music, when you hear the music in this film, it sucks me into the experience. And then when you see the visuals, how this film is directed, and then you see the set design, and it showcases who Bryn is as a character. Like you see these little figurines or like this, this setup that she has in her house, in her living room, that is something connected to her past. She built this bubble that she feels safe in. A few minutes into the movie, that bubble gets popped. But the one thing that does bother me a little bit with this film is at a certain point I feel that the aliens chasing the main character becomes a little tedious after like the third or fourth time of her being chased even though it's a variety of aliens chasing her down. It just becomes a little repetitive. Bryn runs a lot in this movie. <laughs> Brian said, I want you to run like Tom Cruise. And I thought I was a runner before this film. <gasps> I am now. And then on top of that, the aliens are a little stupid. And I understand you gotta have, you know, the intruders doing some stupid things in order to keep your story going, in order to keep your main character alive. I understand that. But at a certain point, after the third or fourth time, it just gets to the point where it's like, okay, these aliens are just dumb as a box of rocks. The only way this main character is getting out of these situations is just by sheer dumb luck. I mean, the film does explain why Bren is so resilient, but when we're going through the motions at the beginning here with the aliens and them chasing her down and her fighting back, when some of these aliens get killed, I'm like, yeah, the alien basically killed itself. I mean, yeah, she pulled the final trigger, but if the alien wasn't dumb and in doing this situation, then it wouldn't have been caught in that situation for her to be able to kill it. Which is, it, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I understand you can't have... You know, Caitlin Deaver's character running around being like Sigourney Weaver and Alien, just mowing aliens down left and right. Down the movie reviewer. You're an idiot. Uh, hey, you want some good parental advice? Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Ultimately, I really enjoyed this film. I love how it has different layers in it, revealing different things. Then you got these different kinds of aliens with different designs, which is cool. And as the film progresses, you know, it gradually reveals who Bryn is as a character and what her past is all about, which I really appreciated. So then by the end of the whole thing, I feel it's a little sad, but it's also very hopeful. That's all I have to say.